about the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Oh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Are you familiar with the Chinese New Year? The it's Lunar my... New Year? I am, Jonas. It's Year of the Dragon this year. Is it? Yeah. That's good. Um, have you seen the, the coffee that Starbucks put out for this? They put out Year of the Dragon themed coffee? Sort of. Uh, it's called, it's dubbed the Abundant Ear Savory Latte. The Abundant Ear Savory Latte. It has an interesting, quote, flavor. It combines Dongpo braised pork flavor sauce. I don't know what that is. With espresso and steamed milk. I know what that is. With extra pork sauce. I don't like and that. And a pork breast meat That's for a lot. garnish, mm. according to the Starbucks delivery app. So wait a minute, so they just put meat in my coffee now? They have done a pork, a pork coffee. Why? There's like a nice little slice of pork in it too. I don't, I don't want to drink meat. There's a slow drizzle, a dark red sauce atop the latte foam with a square slice of pork on a skewer resting on the mug of the rim. This is like some sweet baby rays just like <laughs> squirted in there. What's it's going just on like here? a latte with some sweet baby rays on what's, top. What's going on here? There's a chunk of pulled pork plopped preciously. Wait, wait, but it's not even year to pig. Yeah, I don't know where they got the pork from. So what? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Starbucks is weird. Why did you say it was the Chinese New Year? If don't even it's, for, it's the Lunar New Year. That's what they're doing it for. But it's not year to pig. It's year to dragon. Isn't it? Am I wrong? I have no idea. I could have sw- Overwatch told me it was year to dragon. I mean, they never lie. Why would they, dude? May was wearing her year to dragon outfit, and I got the banner. <laughs> you think I played Don't that much? Everybody, that you gotta say <laughs> something to us. You think I played that much prop hunt for nothing? Look, either way, disgusting. No, I don't want to drink juice, meat juice. All right. I have a problem to this, and Jonas, I have a problem to this day with broth. Broth is weird. All right. I'm broth? A, yeah, broth is weird. It's meat flavored water, man. Why you want meat water? I love it. I'll I'll drink some broth. Suckle upon the old sippy cup of love. Give me some cow juice. Some little bit of chicken water. That you shit, like soup, right? That shit's disgusting, man. You like I, soup. I, I said I said I like soup, man. Soup is fine, but I don't like broth. I don't I don't So when you eat soup you don't you just eat the noodles out and leave the, the rest? The ratio has to be it has to be enough. I when need, you do ramen, is there any juice left in the bowl? What do you that's just, but that's different, man, because it's not. That's b- actual pork bone. What? What do you mean? In my water? I put water in there. In ramen, like a, at the ramen place where you go, it's like bone broth. Yeah, I know. It's gross. Yeah, do you drink it? I thought you were talking about the shit I put in the microwave or the, the, no, you like, cook on the stovetop. No, do you drink the broth when you go to have soup? I mean, yeah, because I paid for it. Okay. <laughs> There's you don't a hate difference, it. Man. Don't hate it that much, then. I I do. I do. I have an issue with this. Like this, it's not enough to like. It's not a phobia. It's more of an aversion. Okay. Whereas, like, if I'm out, I'm gonna be like, oh, I could have a steak, or I could have a, a, <laughs> a cup a, of bone juice, or I could have some beef flavored water. Thank you. I'll take the steak. I'm never gonna go for the beef water, all right? If you were like, hey, I'm thinking about cooking something tonight, what do you want? You want a chili or do you want some beef water? I'm like, who uh, calls it beef water? Uh, I'm, I'm who the one. in your life has given you beef water? I'm calling it beef hey, water. Hey, dynamite, here's your beef water. Essentially, that's what soup it's is. It's just like some, it's just like some shredded pot roast in a cup. That's what it feels like. Ew. You're giving me, you're giving me water with beef in it that you made the water taste like beef and then you toss some vegetables and some noodles and some this like it's good but i don't want the water i the want water is what makes it no nah, just cook it and then take the strain the water throw that shit out get that shit out of here so you just want like a soft cup of stuff i will drink water with the meal i don't know i just want like a stroganoff Oh, that's, Give me cr- stroganoff. that's creamy though. Then you're getting some dairy it's, in there. It's stroganoff creamy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's that light brown sauce because it's got brown. Okay, in. maybe I want like a uh, what do you call it? Not a ratatouille, but a gazpacho. I don't sure. I, I don't know gaz- any gazpacho of that is. is cold soup. Don't even get me started on cold soup. That's a, th- a fret against humanity. 
Jesus Christ himself made it a sin. To it's drink the, cold soup? It's the 11th commandment. Thou shall not drink cold brew coffee or cold soup. Cold, you drink cold brew coffee. Don't. That's all. I'm a sinner. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm a sinner. I'll admit it. I'll admit that I'm wrong for drinking cold brew coffee, but that don't make it right for you to drink soup. <laughs> cold. You're out of control. I might be. I don't be. know what's happening <laughs> right now. I'm telling you is that soup is bad, cold soup is worse, what if and it was cold a piece brew of that coffee pork is terrible. jerky that I gave you the other day was on top of it. It was just like it was like a cup of coffee with just a piece of pork jerky stuck no, in it. No, 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 no. You know what? It's it's it reminds me a lot of like uh have you ever had a Caesar? Caesar salad? No, um I'm using a Canadian term. A uh what do you call that? A bloody mary. Oh, where they put bacon in it and stuff? They put, yeah, like I've seen like the big extravagant ones where they put like a whole freaking turkey in there. Oh, like, yeah, they just, they just jam shit. In. Yeah, I, hate, yeah. I don't like tomato juice. You don't like tomato juice? Yeah, no, nah, I won't drink that shit. But it, it feels like very in step with that where it's like you take something that's already like, you know. Gross. Niche. I would say that coffee is niche even though I, I feel like the, a majority of the American public consumes it. But I still feel like it's pretty niche. Not everybody drinks coffee. And then you just start shoving meat and shit in it to try to make it more appealing to if people. If I could get black coffee with some bacon in it, I'm in. That sounds gross. Just shove, drop a sausage link in my... I mean, you, <laughs> my, you, my, you, you my, got the option to do my that. My Americana. Just drop a, drop a link in there. You got the option to do that. You have all the fixings. Do I? I can just put a put a disc of sausage in the bottom of my cup. If you have you have sausage. You have you have coffee. God make damn. it make it happen. I wonder if I could just put raw sausage in and let the hot water cook it, and then it would like be be coffee boiled sausages. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> Now, see, now, now you're talking a little bit different here. Oh, am I? When you start, delicacy? when you start talking about like infusing coffee into foods, now that's not a bad idea. Coffee flavored ice cream, contrary to what you may believe, I think it's delicious. I think it's a delightful treat. I hate anything coffee flavored, including coffee. But you drink coffee exactly. every day. Exactly, you're right. Th thus, I feel vindicated on my whole cold brew coffee. I know it's bad, but I still do it. That's yeah, but you saying. just you shamed everyone. And yeah, you, I'm shaming myself as well. That's not healthy. It's fine. I'm cool with it. I know that I am an absolute insane individual for drinking cold brew coffee. I believe that you are an absolutely insane individual for hating coffee and thinking it's gross, yet drinking it every day in its most disgusting form, too. Not mind you, dark roast black. Uh, uh, uh. Why don't you just? <laughs> Why don't you just put turpentine in it? Why don't you just, Get you me might, high or what? You might as well just be drinking straight up rat poison. Hey, uh, I don't know why I drink it. Because I do. Fair enough. Yeah. You know what? I do a lot of things. I don't know why. Because I do. Like live. <laughs> it got really dark really fast. <laughs> I'm living because I love it. Like that McDonald's commercial. Da 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 life. I'm loving it. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> Just not you forget we're recording a podcast? You're supposed to talk. <laughs> I just I didn't know what was I that. thought you were going off on an insightful rant. No, I was oh, thinking, okay, nothing. I, All right, I, I cool. Need your banter to help keep it going. <laughs> I thought you were, I was waiting for the insightful the insightful part to come out. I, like, I said life. Da 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 mm -hmm. life. I'm loving it. Okay. Yeah. You you Saved by the Bell, Mo. Er. Okay, you definitely got saved by that one. Anyways, <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> Final words about pork coffee. <laughs> All right, Joe, I swear to God, Joe is going to say something truly insightful that's going to have everybody champing at the bit for the mm. next episode on the next episode. It'll be the next one. I'm going to leave for you right now. You better come back tomorrow and hear my insight. But for now, oh my God. love yourself as much as you love everybody else. It's important. I don't love everybody else at all. I was talking about the, the proverbial you, not you. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, you know, for me. Yeah, the proverbial you, me. The proverbial me, you. It don't work that way. Go to thecrazyhound.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.